Here's what excited me about being part of this film. Watched it growing up, watched the cartoon. Now, to be able to play this iconic character for the first time ever in the theaters playing Bebop, that is what excites me more than anything. And working with some pretty cool people like that guy. What excited me was being able to portray a, be part of a huge franchise that like I watched as a kid and loved as a kid. And um, you know, just, uh, just it's kind of very, very surreal to be able to be involved in that. Like, especially Rocksteady and Bebop, who were my favorite characters. And I'm not just saying that, but they really were. They were the comic relief. Um, as much as the Turtles as great as they are individually, um, watching Bebop and Rocksteady just like, just trip up, up over their own two feet. But you know, also cause chaos and also be pretty good, a pretty good nemesis for the turtles. Like you know, because without superheroes, can't be superheroes unless they got super villains to to, to fight against. Absolutely. And there's no one. Uh, literally, when it comes to strength and destruction and power, there's no one more powerful than uh, Rocksteady and Bebop. Well, here's what's happened. The purple ooze has been introduced, and that is able to mutate. And so we get mutated from human beings into these incredibly strong beasts to build basically a two-man army that Shredder has created. So that's one of the big threats. And the other big threat is Krang is introduced, who is even over, if you thought Shredder was evil, Krang is even over Shredder. It's from another dimension, from man. Another dimension. From another dimension. They don't, they don't, they don't have the same, Mm -hmm. They don't have the same like etiquettes that we have, you no, know what I mean? No, When you're dealing with somebody from another dimension, yeah, you I mean, don't know what's going on. They don't even wash their hands after they use the toilet. No, the, even there's dimensions. a sign there, guys. Uh, Employees and people from other dimensions just, must wash hands. They won't do it. They won't do it. They won't do it. They won't, even before it's, returning it's, it's to work. Really, but that's not, they can't say they're bad-mannered because they just, just don't know. They're different. They just don't know. They're different. Yeah. Well, we talked about this earlier on, but like, First of all, the first thing I heard was the name Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Before I even seen the cartoon, I remember this as a kid. I mean, like, I was like, yeah, what? What, what the hell? The teenager. Okay, I got that. Uh, I know what a teenager is. Turtle. Uh, all right. Okay. Ninja. Yeah, all right. Mutant. Ninja. Mutant. I'm in. Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me more. Right. Yeah. It's just a great world, and it's it's taken a kind of like these supernatural this uh, supernatural characters or these sorry mutated like superhero characters, and then putting it in something that's real like New York, you know where you where it's their city, it's their place, they're there to protect it, and especially with Shred having this done that it's just so many different dynamics there, so many different characters, uh, with each with their own special traits, uh, yeah. with their own energy, yeah. with with. And which people can relate to it's just it's just a whole lot of characters that are so strong that um, people can relate to, and that like they bring so much different uh, dimensions to the cartoon and to this movie. Yeah, they said that right. You said I mean, I really right. tried hard to put and that you, in. Like I'm sound real smart when uh, I was doing it. I, I think I you really sounded like the second smartest man <laughs> in America. Um, Who's the first? I don't know. Oh, maybe he hasn't even been born yet. The other thing I just realized is there's that weird juxtaposition. I literally just realized this. I mean, <laughs> this so dumb. There's this weird juxtaposition of turtles. What was that? Juxta what? Juxtaposition. When you take two things and put them beside each other. Did you make that up? Or no, just... that's a real word. Oh. Uh, there's that inequality of turtles usually being these lumbering, slow creatures. And these guys are super fast ninjas. Like everything about their world was thrown off as a kid. That, that was entertaining. And now you grew up with it. I grew up with it. Still entertained by them. And now there's a whole nother generation who is still loving these guys. Which we saw at the premiere, uh, or the premiere deed, which is tomorrow. But at the pre-premiere. The, 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 the pre-premiere, the screening that I saw. Uh, a lot of people, you know, a lot of reviewers were in there, but they're bringing their kids, and a lovely little kid, a girl there, and like dressed in a turtle costume. Just shows you like how much th th this this uh, cartoon has strong. It's stronger than ever, and it's just getting better and better, generation after generation after yeah. generation after generation after generation after generation after generation. That's, that's the last I, I just one. think this. I I feel like this is going for this. this uh, every decade, this gets stronger, and for the longest time. Fans have wanted these original characters. Yeah. They've wanted Baxter, and they've wanted uh, the Krang, and they've and got they've literally all these Everybody's new characters are introduced. So everybody, the is bad happy, boys, are back except for town. him, he's never happy. Yeah, no, I'm so sad. Did you know that filming on the Hunger Games Catching Fire left Jennifer Lawrence temporarily deaf in one ear? Hmm. Sorry, what's that you said? For this and more movie facts, click on more videos. But if you want something else. Click on the playlist.